Welcome to the Pillars of Industry 4. This video presentation will be on the integration pillar uh, in which we'll be discussing about horizontal and vertical integration. Integrate means process, integrating processes between the organization. When it comes to production, horizontal integration has come to refer to well-integrated process at the production flow level as well. While vertical integration means the production flow is tightly coordinated with high level business processes such as procurement and quality. So in this uh, uh, video, we will try to understand about horizontal and vertical integration and how they are achieved in industry for organization um, through various uh, examples here. You can see uh, horizontal integration is about within the manuf same manufacturer. And while what it integration means from retailer to wholesaler, distributor to manufacturer, supplier and the community uh, producer. So what is horizontal and a vertical integration? When it comes to production, has come to refer to well-integrated process at the production floor as well. While vertical integration means that the production floor is tightly coordinated with the higher level business processes such as procurement quality. In horizontal vertical integration, our strategies used by businesses in the same industry or production processes. In horizontal integration, a company takes over another that operates at the same level of the value chain in the industry. In vertical, uh, on the other hand, involves the acquisition of a business operation within the same production vertical. Let us see through our example, what is a vertical integration? Vertical integration occurs when a firm controls different stages of production. For example, in the brewing industry, you have production, that is brewing of beer, distribution, beer transported to local markets, retail means beer sold in pubs and the shops. And you can see how uh, uh, the example through a visual diagram, how the vertical integration is happening in various areas, domains, coffee growers, oil drilling, home builders. While our horizontal integration occurs when there is a merger between two firms in the same industry operating at the same stage of production. For example, if two newspapers like Independent and The Guardian merge, this would be in horizontal integration. So in the manufacturing industry, it works at the same level of manufacturing. Let us see through a video presentation what our horizontal and vertical integration and the business processes. Hi there. Let's take a look at a couple of terms and concepts that are related to external growth that uh, may come up in your exams. Horizontal and vertical integration. Now I've mentioned that these terms are usually made in connection with trying to explain the reasons why firms engage in external growth, such as takeovers and mergers. And uh, whilst it's a relatively important concept, it's important to keep it fairly simple. So in terms of the direction of integration as a result of these external growth strategies, the first thing to remember is that there are a, there is a possibility of going in a vertical direction, either forward, forward integration or backwards, backward integration. And the alternative is to go from side to side, what's known as horizontal integration. Now, to understand the nature of these terms, the important thing is just to reflect on what happens in what's known as the supply chain in the business. Let's look at a, a simple example of a supply chain. This will help us explain uh, this, uh, these concepts of, uh, of integration. A supply chain might be a simple one like this. You've got businesses involved in the uh, the uh, supply of raw materials. Those raw materials may then be put into a manufacturing process. The output from a manufacturing process might then go to distributors, and those distributors in turn uh, are likely to pass the finished goods onto retailers, and of course then on to final consumers like you and I. That is an example of the supply chain working from left to right, from raw materials to manufacturing, onto the distributor and finally onto the retailers. And in terms of integration, uh, a business may decide to try to move up the supply chain or forward. Of course, it could also move down the supply chain or backwards. So in terms of takeovers, these terms, let's just quickly define what they mean and then give you a couple of examples to, uh, to illustrate them. In terms of forward integration, what we're looking at there is moving up, moving forward through the supply chain. For example, a manufacturer deciding to buy a distributor of its products. 
We've seen that in a supply chain, you can go backwards. So backwards integration, vertical integration, involves a business moving earlier in the supply chain. For example, a retailer buying a wholesaler or a manufacturing business buying a supplier of raw materials. And we've mentioned that you can also go from side to side. A horizontal integration strategy involves buying a business that is operating at the same stage of the supply chain. For example, a manufacturer buying a, another manufacturer, a retailer buying a retailer. There is one fourth direction of integration, which we're not going to cover in this uh, video. We'll do a separate video on diversification, where the takeover or the merger has no connection with the business and the supply chain. It's in an entirely different industry. It's called diversification or conglomerate integration. And as I say, we'll deal with that one in a separate video. Well, hopefully that's helped uh, set the scene in terms of these different types of uh, term. Let's have a look at a, a couple of examples just to help illustrate them. Forward integration. Here's a, here's a takeover that took place in 2016 and it involved a business called the Booker Group. The Booker Group is one of the UK's largest wholesalers. Uh, runs a large, bit like Costco. Well, very much like Costco. Runs large wholesale operations which uh, serve uh, individuals but mainly small retailers. And what the Booker Group did was it agreed a takeover of a very large chain of convenience stores, a retail business called Londis and Budgins, over 2,000 stores there. That was an example of a distributor acquiring a retailer, in other words, moving up or forward up the supply chain forward integration. Here's an example of backwards integration. The business on the right you'll certainly be familiar with, IKEA, one of the world's largest uh, an iconic uh, global retailer of furniture and household goods. And what IKEA did in 2016 was to make a significant purchase of forests and their associated equipment, uh, the, wood, the wood cutters and collectors in Romania and Bulgaria. And what it was doing, it was um, it's, uh, wanting to ensure that its manufacturing business had access to raw materials. So it was moving back into the supply chain. An example of backwards integration. And finally, here's an example of horizontal integration. There are lots of these. You'll often see retailers buying other retailers. In this case, this was one of the world's largest hotel businesses, Marriott, uh, buying a business called Starwood Hotels, which includes a whole bunch of brands, including Sheraton Hotels. And as a result of that takeover, which was finally approved in 2016, Marriott became the world's largest hotel chain. A classic example of uh, horizontal integration where you've got a retail or service business buying a very close competitor. This was an overview of uh, horizontal and the vertical integration. Now let's look at the uh, tabular comparison of horizontal and the vertical integration. The advantages include, uh, in, uh, or due to this integration includes that we have a larger market share, we have a reduced competition and we create economies of scale. Some of the disadvantages are uh, the regulatory scrutiny, less flexibility, and the potential to destroy value rather than create at times. And this tabular format also tells you the differences between a horizontal and a vertical integration. And this visual diagram also explains how the vertical integration is happening uh, from the uh, from the lowest level to the highest level, and how the horizontal integration is happening from the uh, uh, left to right uh, in the integration of the processes. So uh, we find that horizontal, uh, the integration of the processes or the organization, the uh, how the companies, industries work is very, very important for the growth and how they, uh, they, uh, they upgrade their processes and the processes and the industry part of it. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you uh, liked uh, watching Industry 4 uh, videos here.